my my top five this week you're not gonna like it at all because it's not book related whatsoever but i needed a platform to talk about it because we didn't film a batch makers episode uh this week well we did it's the award show but we recorded it last week um i'm doing uh top five movie musicals because i saw wicked last week wicked i jenna this movie rocks that's what i've heard and i'm so i'm fully aware that i was going to eat this movie up regardless because this is just a movie musical does it for me Mm -hmm. where I I I think I explained it to someone uh who asked me about it I said it's like a new Taco Bell item a lot of the ingredients aren't new they're just packaged differently and why it's going to eat it up that's how I would describe Wicked where again it's not reinventing the wheel for movie musicals I do think it is one of the better movie musicals I've ever seen hence my list that I'm going to get into here but I was going to eat it up regardless. It just happened to also be a very, very good movie. So let's get into it. Uh, my honorable mentions. So number six and seven. Uh, number seven is going to be The Greatest Showman, where mm. that's an interesting one because I think the movie itself sucks. But <laughs> like the, the soundtrack. Yeah. But the actual music rocks. I, for, I, that music just it hits is, for me. I like the soundtrack. soundtrack. So that's why it's not on the list. Uh Vice versa, the star a star is born is number six for me. I think this one could crack my top five. I've only seen it once. I need really? a rewatch. It's been a long time. I only watched it. Okay, so you're considering like, that like a a musical? Yeah. Okay. It's it's one of those, like, oh, there's another one on my list that's it's by so definition a musical. Okay. There's music built into it, but um. Yeah, so I'll put that at number six on my list. Number five, I'm going to put Wicked. It'd be unfair for me to put it any higher because recency bias. I'm seeing it again in two day, three days on Friday. So maybe it'll move around the list. I can update that next week. But for right now, I'll leave Wicked at five. Jenny, you got to go see it. It's I, I plan on it. I want to. It's very fun. Ariana Grande, she might win an Oscar. That's what a lot of people are saying. She like that. I saw well, that. I think it's really was, cool that they sang the songs live. Like yeah, those girls can filming. Sing. They sung like it wasn't a pre-recorded track. Yeah, insane. And I've just incredible. my entire TikTok feed is now just wicked stuff. <laughs> have you? Are you deep into the? Uh, have you seen the take up space memes? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, I've watched that clip a billion times. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I genuinely, I think. I think both sides of that interview didn't know what was going on. They were both just so confused. Yeah. So I think, I think Cynthia Revo took it as something that it wasn't. I don't think the question was even finished. And so she was like, Oh man, I can't believe she uses the tone too that Trump uses when he found out that uh, RBG died. He's like, Oh man, I can't believe that happened. She's like, Oh no. Oh, like I, I didn't, I, I didn't know, know that was happening. happening. She's <laughs> so good. Oh, it's in, the internet's running with it. I love the internet for that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, my entire feed right now is uh, wicked stuff. I'm listening to the soundtrack repeatedly. Uh, yeah, just go watch this movie, Jenna. It's fantastic. So I that's love. number five. Uh, number four is one that people are going to expect to be higher on my list. It is a fantastic movie. It's probably the best movie. I'll say it is the best movie on this list. It's La La Land. La La Land is a fantastic movie. I don't want anyone coming for me saying I, it's too low. I know it's too low on this list. It is a fantastic movie, but it's top five movie musicals. And the music in La La Land just doesn't really move me as much as uh-huh. these other ones. Movie. It just doesn't, it doesn't move me. It doesn't move me. It doesn't take up space uh, in my brain. <laughs> Uh, but it's a great movie. I, so I can't, I can't knock it. So that's number four. Number three is Willy Wonka and the chocolate factory. I have such a soft spot for this movie in my which heart. Which one? Timothy the Chalamet? 19, whoa, not Wonka, which also Wonka. I we moved on from it. that too fast. Very good. And he's, fu- he's very fun in that movie. Um, <laughs> no, like moved- the, the original Willy Wonka. 1971 Gene Wilder. I love that movie. It's such a, again, soft spot in my heart for that movie. Um, Love that movie. Number 
two on my list, similar era. I'm going with Greece. Mm. Unreal. Uh, Greece rocks. Always hits every single time. That's one of those yearly rewatches. I don't know if I see it quite every year, but it's close. Mm-hmm. Where it's like it's just a nice throw it on. It's not even nostalgia for me, obviously, because it was made 25 yeah, years before I was born. <laughs> Um, but it feels nostalgic. It still has the same vibe. Uh, so I love that movie. And then number one, this is by far my most rewatchable movie musical. I watch it once a year, usually around this time. I'm probably due. Uh, it's tick, tick, boom. I recommend this movie to everybody. You should go watch tick, tick, boom. Andrew Garfield's phenomenal. Should have won Oscars for it. It should, I think it was nominated for best picture. If it wasn't, it should have been. Uh, this movie rocks. Tick, tick, boom is a, it's one of those things I will continue to revisit. I've mentioned it before, but I watch it all the time. So love tick, tick, boom. what I miss? Anything? No, I wasn't sure if Mamma Mia was going to be on your list. Close. I thought about it. Close. I, I, yeah, yeah, it probably should be an honorable mention. It's probably in that six to eight range. Yeah, I would agree. 